Normandy, 1994. We are sipping wine. Getting closer to the. We are sipping wine, salad niçoise before us, as we sit at a long table at the prey door. Red and gold damask velvet papers the walls. Dad is standing, speaking about how he jumped in the night before D-Day, fought in hand-to-hand -hand combat to take Carrington from the Nazis. We have taken a bittersweet journey here. He is losing his battle with cancer. He has arranged this gift for us and our families. We are here to bear witness. <laughs> Film Noir. Marbleized in the white glow of the phosphorescent box, transfixed by its drone, we too conspired to have thin men with turned up collars and black hats pulled down over one eye, running through the darkness of our dreams, while the shadow-hidden slumber figure of our mother was couched, snoring slightly, knees to her chest, in the darkness of our living room. This is the last one, my father's garden. Surrounded by trees laden with overgrown vines of purple Concord grapes, my father labored, standing and surveying the yard, rake in hand, proud of his land. Flowering quince, yellow forsythia, growing wildly at the borders, thick with blueberry bushes, strawberry patch, plump tomatoes morphing from green to rich red, the occasional flash of a cardinal. The boy from Middle Village who'd daily climbed the narrow spiral staircase to the apartment with, above his parents' grocery here reveled with abandon in abundance of colors, fragrances, and songs of birds. I sat on the ground, dirt beneath my fingernails, small shovel in hand, feeling the hot sun, annoyed by the buzzing of insects, resenting forced labor. Only now, do I remember his paradise, and it is mine. <laughs>